Welcome back to Monster Garage. Been a hot minute. I'm a moron. Well, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. We've had some technical difficulties, so let's go over some of the things we did and that I planned on shooting videos on. And it just didn't work. Probably the biggest thing that we did is we put in a new distributor. This is a Proform Mopar style electronic ignition and it has made a huge difference in how well the car runs. The next thing we did is we did some more troubleshooting. We did some tuning on the carburetor. It was really weird because it was hit or miss. Sometimes I was getting 19 inches of vacuum. Sometimes I was getting 15 inches of vacuum. It just wasn't working out so well. It was running really, really lean. And how I know that is we've installed an AFR gauge. So our gauge cluster has been upgraded from three to four. So now we have oil pressure, water temp, voltage, and AFR. And in my futzing about, I found something. I had been spraying along here with carb cleaner and I would get that increase in RPM. And I initially thought that it was my uh, intake manifold gasket. But then I started doing some more digging. I don't know if you can see or hear that, but that, that's the throttle valve rod. And it's really, really loose. I think that's where our vacuum leak is. Now, how we're gonna fix that is this. And this is a bushing kit from Carb Junkies. That should take all the slop out of the throttle valve hopefully seal that leak so we can get a more consistent vacuum reading and a more consistent idle. All right, so pulled the carburetor out, got it on the bench here. Now we're ready to start getting into this so we can get these bushings replaced. Everything was going well with the disassembly, right up to the point where this happened. Oh, that's not good. Dumbass. I remembered after the first screw step that the screws are staked in to prevent them from backing out. In order to get the screws out, you have to grind the stake off the backside. And that's what we're doing with the rest of the screws. For the screw that snapped off, we'll take one out of our two barrel carb to replace it. Throttle rods out. Now it's time to waller these out and get some new bushings in. Now we got the reamer bit in place with 
to guide. Uh, we have some tape on here, so we know how deep we need to go. Uh, we just took and matched up tape with the size of the bushing, like so. And then we'll get that reamed out. A 10 millimeter socket works perfectly around this bit. Now this is reverse drive, so it's actually going to go in Lucy. Oh yeah, that's that is right in there. All right, it's one side reamed out. Let's go ahead and knock out the other side. All right, base is reamed out. Now, we just gotta get these bad boys in there. How we are going to ensure that this bushing gets driven in straight is I took and put a washer on the end. I put my bushing here, and we will just use that as a guide as we have continued to do. Get that started. Get the old hammer. Just give her a very easy tap, tap, tap. There we go. Bushing is in and flush. Well, let's do the other side. Make sure when you put it in, you put this lip side in first. It gets her started. All right. Bushings are in. Let's get this back together. Then, a few minutes later. All right, back together. Now the screws are just Loctited in. The problem is, I don't trust it, even with the Loctite. So. So shiny, so chrome. Time for some testing. So, we're in the car. We're ready to get started. And I have no keys. <laughs> you don't. Helps to have keys, moron. Be right back. Hopefully, in the next episode, dart or no dart, we're going to be visiting one of the local car shows because it's just something I want to do, something I want to do with my kids. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.